Okay, hey everyone, it's Connor here with Chrome Designs, and thank you for watching this video tutorial. Now, today I'm going to be teaching you how you can create some exploding text in Cinema 4D. I usually give you a brief of what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial, however, I feel that it's unneeded in this one purely because it's just creating exploding text. Pretty much only one meaning for that. So, first things first you want to insert your text. Now usually by inserting your text you go to this squiggly line and go to text. However to do it my way of it making it actually explode you need to go to where is it? MoGraph and text object. And then just type in what you want here. Uh, I'm going to type in Chrome simple as. I'm going to change the font. What should I change the font to? I'll change it to bank. Oh. Bank Gothic, okay. There we go, move it along a bit. Maybe just change the angle. There we go, so if we just hit the render button. Just got some basic 3D text. If you want to change how deep the text is, just uh, not the height. But yeah, anyway, change the height to 200. There we go. So now, once you have done that, you can you can maybe add a plane, I suppose. Anyway, I'm going to add a plane if you want a plane to go underneath um, 99999. If you've been watching my past tutorials, you know that I just spam nines for a plane. But anyway, then I'm going to basically add a material to the text. So if I go to File, Shade, oh, not New Material, my bad. File, Shader, and New Key. And this is a glossy blue. I quite like this. So I just I just drag it on there. Delete that accident one. And if you render that out, you should have some blue text on grey. Just tilt up a bit so you don't get that blay grey. Sorry, in the in the background. So now maybe just to make the text glossy, I'm just going to create a light. Going to maybe drag it up. Uh, shadow shadow map soft. Okay. But that is all besides the point. Now, to make the text explode in, you want to have the text object selected in the right objects panel. And you want to go to the little bend, uh, little bend, um, bend icon and go to explosion. Now, as you see, nothing will happen, and that is because the strength is on zero. Maybe not go to explosion. No, 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 no. My bad. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Explosion. And once you've added it on, click and hold and drag it down to the text text objects so of the down arrows appearing. And there you go. Still nothing should happen. That is because you've got the strength set to zero. Whereas if I increase it, you see that it starts to disperse and it's all shattering away. So there we go, you can see it's exploding there. Now what you want to do is you can keyframe it. So you can make it coming from the explosion into the normal text or exploding out. I'm going to make it so it explodes into the exploded text. Or basically so it explodes. And this can be done by having the strength on zero. And have the keyframe at zero as well. And then you can just hit the uh, mi middle button that's like the red circle around it. I'm not sure what it is, but I think it's some sort of arrows. I'm not too sure. But then hit that and then hit the keyframe button. And then move forward X amount of frames. I'm going to do 30. And then change the strength to whatever you want. Change it to 100. doesn't really have to be 100, I suppose. I'll change it a bit less than that. Change it to 50, something, so you can still see it. And then hit the keyframe button there as well. Make sure you hit the keyframe button there, otherwise it won't create the keyframe. Now, as you see, if you go, if you like, scrub back to um, keyframe one and back to 30, you see that it starts to explode. And uh, you can just render it out. If you can, you can go to uh, make preview. Okay. And now this is a way how you can render it in the finished view, uh, f just for them few frames. However, it calculates really quickly. It's not as good quality, so it's that is pretty much why it's quick. And if you look in the bottom left, there was a bar. So I'll click play. There you go. 
carried on a bit more there because I did the keyframe at 30. But anyway, that is the exploding text tutorial. Um, that is about it. You can change it to your own way. You can alter with these uh, settings down here. There's only a couple, so you can change the randomness of the thing, of the uh, sizes. Uh, everything really. Just have a play around with it. See what you what will suit best uh, best suit your situation. And that is about it for me. I'm Connor with Chrome Designs. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.